Hi guys, this is um, part three of this new um, tutorial series. Um, so let's get back in and uh, close that. In our scripts uh, folder for the client, we want to add in a UI and a. And to be honest, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, within that, you want to add your title screen um, also also you want to create a database folder database folder right there okay so the first thing I want to do is this tit title screen let's open that up what the title screen is is basically that first screen you see when you open up the client. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need. I'm just gonna delete all this to be honest right away. We need a private, two privates actually. String. Ah. Username. And that will be equal to nothing, and then a private string password equal to nothing and then a GUI void within here we want to uh, let's see we just want to create our button yeah yeah we'll do that so if network I'm gonna explain everything just after I type this in yeah peer type equals net peer type dot disconnected and yeah and then we want to do that so wait let me just explain this line okay so network peer type if that is equal to network peer type disconnected so this is yourself this is the client so if that client is equal to disconnected from a server we're gonna show this GUI which is the you know the register thing where you log in and stuff but if it isn't then that is not gonna show up so yeah that's basically what that means uh, begin a hey, begin group uh, new rack new rack screen dot with uh, I think that is divided by 2f so we're dividing that by 2 and this is just so we can center everything together minus 300 and then screen dot width not screen dot height my bad divided by 2f minus uh, 300 again yeah and then our screen will be about 600 width so the reason we're removing 300 out of that is because if we don't it's kinda gonna be off to the side a bit but if we do remove it half half of the half of what the GUI is meant to be or the group in this instant it's gonna be exactly in the middle and then we want to do a GUI box uh, new rec and this is gonna be 0 by 0 And if you remember, or you should, um, we've begun a group here. So this box, I'm putting it to zero zero, which is going to be right in the middle of the screen. And I'm going to call this Pirate Wars. So we're going to keep that title for now. All right? You can change it if you want. I mean, you don't have to keep it. If GUI dot button button, whoops, button. Um, new rec and this is probably going to be 200 by 50 225 like that register Oop. how about just uh, we'll do we'll do play in my other project I've got that as the register when really if you've already got an account you don't really want to register and what we might do as well is we might just add a 
Um, what the hell? I guess that. Right. So what we might as well do is um. Actually, I'll do it. it looks much better like that. Dot button. New rack. We'll do four hundred. Seventy-five. 225 as well. Log in. And then this one up here will do register. Alright. So we're creating a box, which is the, um, just for show. And then we're adding two buttons in there the register button and the login button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto our client scene, the login one. And I'm just going to drag this here. Let's create a new game object. Login. Drag that there. Hit play. And we've got two except for that login button. It's kind of off to the side. Uh, equals y so we gotta keep this there there we go that should fix it wonder what that means you're pushing more gr clips than you are popping well I have absolutely no idea what that means Well, I'll get that fi fixed later on. That's fine. All right. Uh, how long have we been going for? About seven minutes. I think I'll push it to ten. Um, within our register, we just want to connect function. And we got to create this connect function right down here. Connect like that. So basically I like having a function below um, called connect because it's more clean and you know exactly what what's going on within that function and you can edit it quite easily and add things. So within this connect function what we want to do is we want to type in network dot um, connect pretty much and then to the IP of the server. And later on probably by the end I'm also going to show you how to get other people to connect you're going to have to do something called port forwarding and uh, having a DNS but actually that's probably not needed DNS host but I'll show you that all later on for now we're just going to connect to yourself alright how long is that alright let's keep going for two minutes um, now I want to do else else and this is gonna be our second function let's fill in the login and this is gonna be uh, yeah this is going to be network view dot r c r p c login r p c mode dot um server so the server is what you're connecting to. So we're basically doing um we're sending a a request or we're telling the server something and then with the when the server gets this message, it's gonna process it, check the database if we've got the account, and then either let the client log in or not. That's what we're doing now. RPC mode and then username. So you need username and password. And then an email, and this is going to be for our this is going to be for our database and stuff like that. Like that. Next, we need your age. I'm 16. And finally, network network dot player. All right, where? Why 
this out like that. Alright, so let me explain this to you. Login is the function, which, what the, yeah, okay. Login is the function of this RPC call, which we're going to create down here. Then we got RPC mode, who are we sending this message to? The server. The server is going to send it to the, um, well, the server is actually going to do something else. Let me let me show you what the server is going to do. The server is going to receive this call with the network player ID or basically their IP. It's going to process it and then send it back to that network player. So basically we don't really have to do this RPC mode um, for for the, the server. We just have to type in network.player, I think. Next we got our username and password. This is the parameters we're sending across all from from here all the way down to here. So the server is going to want a username, a password to check the database, an email. This is actually, do we need an email? No, we don't need an email. We're logging in. But we do need a network player. So it requires these to check the database and then finally the network player to send back the information. How much time? Time. 11. Well, I think we could. Yeah, let's let's just do that quick. So to declare a function to be on our PC, you kind of got to do that above it, and then type in public void login string. So this is where we're stating what parameters are needed. These parameters should be the same parameters that you put in your um, in your you call it a server script they've got to have the same parameters or else you'll get a fat error and then we want info 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 dot owner actually we haven't created this info dot right well if you watch the first video I had this script called info actually I should have it here account info Actually, we can see it here. Don't need that. So basically, what the info is is, is um, it's just a script that never gets destroyed. It's always there and is to kind of carry on the owner and the character. So we want to do info dot owner. So who owns the the current client? Finally, the username and then application dot load level. And I'm gonna do character selection which is our character selection um, so I'm gonna stop this now and uh, hope you enjoyed it bye bye